Hi guys, it is a nasty, brutal, gray, cold, freezing, depressing, just yuck day here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas. And it's not just any day, it is hallelujah, praise Jesus, Allah, or whoever else. It is the final day of 2017. Hell yes, somehow, unbelievably, as a planet, we have stumbled drunkenly into Sunday, December 31st, 2017. Too much celebration. <coughs> Getting rid of this goddamn year off the planet. But of course, what that means is tomorrow we get to wake up to the year 2018. Good Lord, talking about going to sleep, getting rid of one nightmare, and just inheriting a bigger one as the tsunami of shit bearing down on this planet continues to build momentum here in the end times. Good God Almighty, guys. And uh, so, it being December 31st, I'm sure, all of you long-time viewers of Humpty Dumpty Tribe knows what that means. That is when your old doomsday prophet, Hambone, and his little dog, Sancho Panza, uh, where I uh, do my job as a doomsday prophet and look ahead into 2018 for some no-shit Sherlock doomsday predictions for the, for the coming year. Now, of course, Anyone who's listened to these predictions for the past few years will might notice a little bit of echo in these predictions because my predictions for 2018 look pretty similar to 2017, 2016, 2015, 2014, and 2013. The bottom line being we will continue to be so fucked. Uh, here on the planet, but let's break that down a little bit. Now, of course, you know, I, I just spit out 25. Did this that as they came rolling off my head as they do every year in no particular order. I will try to lump them, try to organize these as I go along. Now, of course, the number one question on everybody's mind is will Donald Trump survived 2018 both as uh, president and as a living human being. And I hate to inform you, it is, as much as this uh, it truly pains me and nauseates me to predict Donald Trump will not only be alive a year from today, but he will still be clinging to the presidency and <coughs> as, as, as unbelievable as this prediction sounds like guys it, it really boils down to the fact that the, the, the thing keeping Donald Trump in the White House and the thing probably keeping that fucker alive is the stock market going up 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 as long as the clueless fucking morons are out there keeping uh, this this bubble floating, uh, Donald Trump has a bulletproof vest. Nothing else is going to bring this down. The, the sexual misconduct, uh, it doesn't matter if 500 women get up there and, and, and accuse Donald Trump of raping them. It doesn't matter as long as the stock market goes up. Donald Trump will continue to be the single biggest threat to planet Earth embodied in one individual. Uh, and, and trying to predict what the motherfucker can come up with uh, to declare war on this planet, to just take your pick. The, the bottom line is, is Donald Trump and his band of uh, 
horsemen of the apocalypse will continue their all-out assault uh, against this planet, uh, against American values, against the U.S. Constitution. He will continue to be uh, the biggest stooge not, not a whore. Donald Trump is not a corporate whore. He is a corporate stooge. And I've had that rant. Don't want to get off on that red herring. The difference between a whore, Hillary Clinton is a corporate whore. Donald Trump is a corporate stooge. And it doesn't matter. The global corporatocracy, the new world order, uh, has their boy has their man uh, for the job. And, and, and as long as, as these planet-eating fuckers are, are continuing to sell uh, all of this crap, this planet-eating shit uh, to, to us and the rest of the planet, the stock market's going to continue to go up until eventually, eventually, but it's not going to happen in 2018, uh, it, it's going to, th this, th this unlimited growth, this infinite growth on a finite planet model that uh, Donald Trump is the, is the poster child of, it is going to continue until it does hit the ecological wall. Uh, you know, it, it's just a race. Uh, now, the, the, only, the only serious threat to Donald Trump, not maybe not so much his life, or well, the biggest threat to his life is his diet. So with any luck, uh, Donald Trump will be taken out by the McDonald's Corporation. Uh, that, that would be some poetic justice. Donald Trump, so maybe uh, Ronald McDonald can assassinate uh, Donald Trump or Colonel Sanders can do the job for us. But barring that, uh, the, the fucker's going to still, still be alive. Uh, now, the, the biggest threat to his presidency, which is going to come too late this year, is going to be the, uh, the midterm 2018 elections coming up the first week of November and perhaps foolishly I will predict that the Democrats will, thanks to Donald Trump, uh, the, uh, the, the Democrats hopefully will uh, get their goddamn, uh, pull their heads out of their asses and, 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 and run people against the, the whole Donald Trump machine. And, but if there's any chance at all for any sort of impeachment proceedings, it's not going to happen until the Democrats have enough votes in the House to bring it up. But that's going to be, we'll talk more about that in 2019. Uh, what else do I have to say as long as we are over there with Donald Trump? Uh... Well, Donald Trump will survive the year, but Rex Tillerson, I'm somewhat sorry to say Rex Tillerson, the former CEO of Exxon, will no longer be with us, at least in the White House, a year from today. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go over to... Jerusalem, you know, where Donald Trump is doing everything he can to uh, start the Battle of Armageddon by moving the U.S. Embassy to, uh, to Jerusalem, a, a move which I 100% support. I'm I keep sending emails to Donald. He's never responded. You know, he's looking for a piece of vacant land in downtown Jerusalem for the U.S. Embassy. There's this little hill called the Dome of the Rock. Uh, I'm, I'm, I keep 
suggesting as a real estate investor that I am uh, for the end times, I keep telling Donald, hey, dude, there's this nice view property, the Dome of the Rock. Unfortunately, as, as much as I want the U.S. Embassy to be moved to Jerusalem and as much as I'm cheering on Donald to get the Battle of Armageddon underway, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. And that breaks my heart. Uh, I hope that I'm wrong. I thought I was wrong once, but I was mistaken. All right, but of course, the bigger question on most people's mind than the Battle of Armageddon is the is nuclear war between uh, the U.S. and North Korea, between the big maggot and the little maggot. Uh, you know, this this is a tough one. Uh, as far as the little maggot is concerned, by the end of 2018 there will be no question on anybody's mind whether or not North Korea will be a, quote, nuclear power. Uh, meaning, by the end of this year, it is completely obvious to me that the little maggot will have a, 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 enough nuclear weapons to... Uh, take out the United States, the question, of course, is does he have the missile delivery system to uh, bring him over here? Uh, so I am not predicting the little maggot will make a successful strike anywhere in the U.S. Now, I am predicting that, that Donald Trump, he's going to snap. You know... I have to give I'm I'm pretty amazed that the guy has been as patient as he's been with that little fucker over there. I, I, I would have been over there five years ago squashing that goddamn little maggot. But anyway, since Donald Trump inherited this problem from that little chicken shit, spineless coward, Barack Obama, Trump is going to have to do something this year. There will be... A, a U.S. military operation on the Korean Peninsula. It will not be nuclear. Uh, I predict, I predict in the year 27, I'm going to call it 20,000 people on the Korean Peninsula uh, will be dead. Uh, and, and, and the blame at this point, uh, it's, it, it, it's totally 50-50 between those two fuckers. Uh, so, that's my call on that. Now, <clears throat> I do think you will see uh, Americans being told to get their asses out of North and South Korea. Are there any Americans in North Korea? Is there a fucking American other than Dennis Rodman clueless enough to be uh, over in North Korea? But even the the Americans, certainly in Seoul, South Korea, I hear there's like, what is it, 235,000 Americans living in Seoul, Korea? Could that be right? Uh, which is what, like... 27 miles from the North Korean border. They, they better get their, their clueless moron asses home. Anyway, well, enough of this guy. I, I could go on with this, but uh, I will have plenty of dump the Trumpy hives all year uh, just, just sharing uh, hundreds or thousands of more reasons why we need to get rid of this motherfucker in the year 2018. But as I say, it ain't going to happen as long as that stock market keeps going up. And, uh, and it's, it, again, as is, is, is sick as it makes me to say, I, I don't see 
uh, any end to this stock market uh, joy ride into the Marana scene that, that we're all in. particularly, you know, as I was talking about with this fellow from Voices of Dissent yesterday, that uh, you, you got to remember that, all, that even global disasters are, are good for the stock market. Uh, if you want to make money in the end times in 2018, this is my eco-Nazi investment advice. Home Depot, Lowe's, any sort of, of, of home rebuilding. Uh, they're the two big ones. Uh, Caterpillar uh, Tractors, another excellent investment in the end times. Anything to do with shale oil. Uh, the, these are all ways to make money. This is, this is an open and shut uh, investment advice. If you want to make money in 2018, look at any, cor any global corporation that makes its money off of declaring war on planet Earth. As the war against this planet goes into overdrive, so are the stock prices supporting the war on this planet. Uh, anyway, I, I do think 2018 will see some new records. Let's look at some of the new records that will be set in 2018. Now, one of the new records that will not be set is 2018 will not go down as the uh, as the warmest year on record, especially with the start it's going to take tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to say that 20, 2016 will keep that record. Uh, 20, I guess 2015 and 2017, right up to today, are in an absolute, to coin a phrase, dead heat for the second hottest. So where is 2018 going to fit in? I will actually, I'm going to give 2018 will move into second place. So it'll be 2016 is going to retain it, its, uh, its position at the top of the heap because of the El Nino amplifying effect that we had. I haven't heard a lot of talk about a new El Nino forming in 2018. So without that extra boost from from El Nino, that'll keep 2018. It's now the, the 2016 record will fall the next year that there is an El Nino boosting it. So we will see what my predictions are for 2019 next year. But even without an El Nino, I think the way I am reading, and I, I see no reason why 2018 should not be the second warmest, uh, making the record books for number two. Uh, what are some other records that I know? Okay, the, the parts per million of CO2 will hit a new record. Where is it? About 410? I'm saying uh, we will see, I, I see no reason why it's not going to go up another three. So my guess is by the end of this year, uh, carbon dioxide levels in measured parts per million uh, will be about 413. But wherever, they're going to be the highest they have ever been in the history of humanity and of course the number one reason for that is CO2 emissions being emitted by humans will hit an absolute new record and even the mainstream media when was it towards like two weeks after they were running these stories that uh, this bullshit story that emissions of CO2 have flatlined even the mainstream media uh, had to start coughing up the undeniable in-your-face evidence that emissions of CO2 
from seven and a half billion people on this planet are continuing to rise. They will continue to rise. They will hit uh, an all-time high record, uh, surpassing the record as I predicted last year, set this year. Again, anyone who has uh, heard my former rants, it, they, they, this year sounds like the rest of them. All right, what other records? Deforestation will continue to hit new record highs all over the planet. Uh, how much this will be reported accurately and honestly in the mainstream media, I'm not sure, but there, there is absolutely zero evidence to point to anything at this point that uh, all from the Amazon jungle to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, let's see, we have whale entanglements. Whale entanglements, which hit a new record this year, will hit yet another new record next year. You know, these whales getting caught in these goddamn fishing lines and all of this shit. Uh, of, and, and in line with that, don't forget plastic pollution, the amount of plastic uh, in the oceans and everywhere else will hit a new record in 2018 as 20,000 new plastic water, ball, water bottles hitting the planet uh, every second. Um, palm oil production, despite the fact that I'm hearing the right now we have a glut of palm oil and the price is down, uh, even with that, palm oil production will hit a record high and you're going to see more and more of these since, since Southeast Asia is pretty much gone. You will see more and more palm oil uh, plantations moving into uh, South America and Africa. More acres of tropical rainforest will fall both to palm and soy uh, for all the vegans, all the Save the Planet vegans. Uh, you will see a record amount of acreage in palm oil and soybean plantations. Uh, in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, with the United Nations cheering this on, hydroelectric dams will hit a, uh, will hit a new record. Um, Let's see, uh, now since hydroelectric energy is considered, at least by the UN, to be renewable green energy, I do predict that renewable energy uh, in, the, in the form of hydroelectric, uh, solar, wind, th those are the big three, and let's throw in, while we're at this, let's throw in electric vehicles. All will new, hit new records this year. So will the demand for fossil fuels will also hit a new record. Uh, the reason being that there will just be a, a, an overall new record for all energy sources from in, across the spectrum as millions and millions, if not at least a billion new pe people, in particularly in, in China, India, uh, Brazil, <coughs> in the, quote, developing world, uh, start getting enough money 
uh, out of this goddamn uh, infinite growth on a finite planet gravy train that the hogs are feeding on in the trough. Uh, it, 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 it's, you know, come online. Uh, all sources of, of, of energy demand, energy demand is going to, is going to obviously hit a, hit a new record on this planet. And one of the, the, the main uh, suppliers or beneficiary or whatever you, uh, however you want to look at this, will be the U.S. shale oil uh, production will go into the stratosphere this year as U.S. shale oil, as, as Donald Trump completely rolls out the red carpet to big oil um, all over this country to start ramping up uh, to just to hand over our public lands to big oil. And you know all of this 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 US shale oil now you, my guess is in 2018 you will start seeing, the first few shale oil wells cropping up in other countries. And in five to ten years, uh, it won't be, you're not going to see the word U.S. B before the shale oil production. You're going to see global shale oil production. Uh, let's see. Now, as long as we're talking about oil, where will the price of oil, you know, with all of this shell oil, where is oil? Right around 60. My guess is oil is going to float anywhere from 45 to 65 dollars a barrel. Uh, probably, uh, as, as long as they keep pumping this shale oil shit, I don't see oil going up much higher than it is. Uh, so we'll call that 45 to 65. Now, I had this that, that you will begin to see oil contracts uh, will begin to be traded in yuan, in the Chinese dollar, that the petrodollar will begin to move out of the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar and the petrodollar will begin to decouple. Will it be enough t this year in 2018 to uh, collapse the, uh, the global economy? It, unfortunately, this, this oil trading in yuan, uh, although it will start to grow, it's not going to be enough this year. To, uh, to bring down the U.S. and the global economy, but it's certainly going to start ramping up this year. And more and more oil contracts will no longer be traded in the U.S. petrodollar, and which is another way of saying that the American empire the decline of the American empire will certainly continue unabated. America is going to continue to go down while China, uh, the devouring dragon, and don't forget India, the crouching tiger, uh, are certainly going to go right on becoming the new global Superpower. Okay, what are my... Oh, I forgot this one when I was talking about new records. Natural disaster costs will hit a new record in 2018. These natural disasters, meaning anthropogenic natural disasters, the cost of them will just continue to uh, climb into the stratosphere. I am predicting four Category 5 hurricanes hitting 
the U.S. to contribute to the natural disaster costs. But of course, uh, that is good news for GDP and it's damn good news for Home Depot and Lowe's investors. Okay, and uh, don't forget the number of climate refugees will uh, continue to rise. Uh, all of these um, sub-Saharan Africans getting their black asses to Honkyville. Uh, I, I would have predicted you will see more of these sub-Saharan African refugees on the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, but now that the United Nations is giving them free airline tickets just to fly to Europe, that since the United Nations is just flying uh, Africans into Europe for free, uh, maybe we won't see quite as many of them on the bottom of the uh, on the bottom of the American uh, of the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, of course, it goes without saying the sixth mass extinction will continue unabated. Uh, there is zero evidence to contravene that no shit Sherlock prediction that started about uh, 40,000 years ago. We can finally mercifully kiss goodbye the vaquita porpoise. Uh, the vaquita porpoise, but there is one species, unfortunately, uh, that will not go extinct in the year 2018 despite the uh, brainless, clueless predictions of uh, some guy whose name I cannot recall that humans will be extinct in six months. Unadulterated horseshit. Uh, completely unadulterated horseshit. As much as I wish humans would be extinct this year, ain't gonna happen. All right, and taking up the end of the, the no shit Sherlock uh, eco-Nazi predictions. I could go on all day with this, guys. I'm just going to wrap it up here. Of course, as I say every single year, uh, the subject of overpopulation, the single biggest threat to planet Earth, the single biggest cause of everything from the sixth mass extinction to abrupt climate change, uh, and, and, and every single problem, the single biggest threat to this planet will continue to be completely ignored. It will nowhere be on the table as as things like geoengineering uh, will start coming online, more and more of this genetically modified shit, all of these uh, artificial intelligence and techno-utopian uh, dreams uh, of, of saving this planet, uh, flying to Mars, uh, all of this shit uh, what are we going to do about this mess? It's going to continue to be approached from the supply side. It's going to be how can we supply uh, a, a, an infinite amount uh, of planet-eating crap to an ever-growing human global population. Nobody is going to be talking about the one way to save the planet which is from the demand side by getting the number of humans on this planet down. It will be nowhere on, uh, on anybody's agenda. It will not be mentioned in the mainstream or the alternative media. Uh, and, and including the goddamn little mainstream limp dick lefty little greeny uh, mainstream environmentalist 
Uh, it, it, it will be the biggest sacred cow on this planet. Nobody is going to touch the subject with a 10-foot pole that we need to reduce the population of planet Earth down certainly below a billion and uh, preferably 500 million. Speaking of which, I will uh, be visiting the Georgia Guidestones uh, in February. Can't wait. I've never been to the Georgia Guidestones. But the bottom line, the, the bottom line, as I wrap up every single one of my uh, predictions for the next year, the bottom line, cutting through all the crap, one year from today, on December 31st, 2018, we will be one year closer to doomsday than we are now. The end times. Uh, we will be one year closer to the brick wall that we are ramming into at 67,000 miles an hour. We will be more fucked one year from today than we are today. So you better get out there and enjoy 2018 while you can. And it, you better smoke them if you got them because we are fucked and we're really getting ready to get fucked as 2018 unrolls. And with that, I'm going to wrap up uh, this uh, year's edition of my Doomsday Predictions looking forward to 2018. And I think, and with any luck, when I uh, wrap this up, I'm going to have a note from Paul Beckwith uh, that Paul and I are getting ready to have a conversation and so I can get uh, Paul Beckwith's predictions for 2018 and tomorrow I'll be talking to James Howard Kunstler to get, getting Jim Kunstler's predictions for 2018 so uh, can't wait to see what those boys have to say but you know what I have to say we are so fucked Happy New Year. Bye, guys.